Hello and a very warm welcome to viewers from all over the world. Some are about to go to bed, some just woke up and grabbed their coffee before watching this first video. I was invited to Nexo near Paris a few weeks ago to get some detailed information and insights in the manufacturing process of the brand new P12 point source loudspeaker that Nexo introduced recently. And in this first video that I want to show you now, I teamed up with Dennis Boudier from Nexo to get a detailed look into the manufacturing process. We have two more videos to come up on Thursday and next week, where we'll, I will talk to uh, Joseph Carcopino from the R&D department. And we will also take a look at the NXM 4x4 and the L15 subwoofer. But now let's start with an inside view into the manufacturing process of the P12 loudspeaker. Have fun. I just arrived at the Nexo headquarters in Playy near Paris and first I will visit the production department. Please follow me. Bonjour, monsieur. Hey Hello, you? Danny. Hi, I'm fine. I came to you to uh, get some details about the production process. Will you, can you give us a tour? Yes, sure. But perhaps we, for the introduction, you should go outside because it's very noisy here and you will be much more comfortable. Okay, I follow you. May I introduce you to Danny Baudier? He's working at Nexo for 23 years now and he will give us some interesting details about how to turn a pile of birch ply into a P12 loudspeaker. Danny, your turn. Okay, so very interesting questions. Yeah, definitely production matter to us. So uh, going in from a panel of food and turning into a completed ministry, yes, it's go through several different processes. The first process is obviously taking this large panel of food and cutting them at the right dimension in order to have material ready for the CNC operations. A CNC operation, what well, it is in two words here, yes, we have this uh, blank parts of wood and we have to shape them in order to, to have the different parts to build the cabinet itself. Uh, it's, a, it's a process that has been used at Nexo for many years and we were among the first to be equipped with this kind of technology. Uh, we are now the second generation of CNC machine because of the P12. Okay, P12, as you can see, is a rounded shaped cabinet. So the CNC operation have to go through a rounded shaped cabinet. So uh, part of them are done on the first generation, but really the precise machining on this rounded shape is done through new generation of CNC machines. But as far as I know, uh, CNC works only for flat wood. Yes, in fact, uh, in the past, but now we have a uh, re three dimension CNC operation that are possible with new generation of CNC machine. And in case uh, of the P12, we don't really have the choice because you can see the shape of this cabinet is a uh, rounded shapes with quite a height that is consequent. So we need to make CNC operations on the three dimensions. So Nexo, Nexo that was one of the pioneer uh, uh, with the CNC uh, technology uh, now is stepping to these new machines. We were doing real three dimension CNC operations. Next step obviously will be taking this uh, prepared parts and 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 make and put them together in order to to build the ebenistry itself and we are gluing them uh, it's an interesting process and uh, that we use also for many years wouldn't it be better to to nail or to screw them we use screw in the past but uh, definitely uh, gluing the different parts uh, has many many advantage in terms of productivity and quality 
uh, first, in fact, uh, the contact surface between the different parts is much uh, bigger than if you're using simple screws. So it means uh, when you make some pulling tests, uh, we have something that is four times stronger because gluing them is like soldering, you know, uh, the glue will go into the wood and when it's dry, in fact, it's like one piece of wood. So if you want to detach them, the wood will break. So for the longevity of the, the cabinet, it's a much better process. The other advantage is also, is also on, the, on the productivity because uh, uh, not, if you don't use screw, you don't make hole in the cabinet. So you don't have to hide the holes uh, after that for the sanding process. And after the gluing process, uh, that P12 get painted? Yes, but before you go, you have to go to the sanding process uh, because the, the quality of the painting is really depending on the, how you sand the cabinet. And, uh, and for that also, Nexo, I've been pioneer investing, in fact, on, uh, on sanding robots, which uh, give a very, very constant quality to the cabinet. And as I mentioned, quality of the sanding will have consequences on the quality of the painting. Before painting, we, uh, we make a very serious visual inspections because as I mentioned, quality of the painting is really depending on the quality of the sanding. Uh, I want to mention also that for the P12, we are using a, a new paint. Uh, it's a much stronger mat materials that give a much more durability uh, to the product, much more resistant to scratch, which is very important for, for the end user and the customers. And what we have now is a finished cabinet. And now let's take a closer look at what happens next. Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, now we've reached the assembly department. Danny, please explain us what is happening here exactly. Okay, so, so we are reaching almost the latest processes, okay, in the, the productions. So now you have seen uh, the, the wood workshop. We have the complete ministry. We have the different components and we'll put all them together. We test them, we pack them and we ship them. Can we take a closer look at the different stations? Sure, sure. So I think what you will notice is that, uh, in fact, uh, at Nexo, we like modularity. So uh, all the different workshop tables are on wheels. So we are capable to readjust the organization of the production, depending on the, what we have on back orders or what is inside, in fact, the, the production forecast for the coming months. Give a lot of flexibility and a very short delivery time, lead time for the customers. Okay, so uh, let's have a closer look to uh, the assembly process. Lilian uh, will be nice enough, in fact, to show us the different step of uh, building the complete cabinet now. Now he's installing, in fact, the absorber inside the cabinet. Let's go with the passive filter. So Lilian is about to install um, the handle. As you can see, in fact, uh, the P12 includes a, a speak-on connector inside the handle, which is uh, used for monitor application and makes, in fact, something very clean and very neat on stage you know, with not a lot of cabling. So you can make something very clean with this possibility. So now you will install the, the vent. Okay, we are using this uh, special uh, um, glue that will avoid the cabining having any air leaking. And you will install the, the coaxial driver. Uh, we are close to the end. So now Lilian will install, in fact, the DHF horn. The grill is ready to be mounted. Fix the, the safety cable. The quarter turn lock. Okay. Okay, so now we, it's almost finished. Huh? Uh, thank you very much, Lilian, for this. Uh, Nice demonstrations, and now we'll go for testing and then for packing. Okay, off we go. Okay, and what is happening here? So now we are testing the box one by one. Then I will uh, attach also the RFID numbers to the serial number because if the test is passed, we'll generate, in fact, the serial number of the cabinet. So it means that if the, the test fails, there is no any possibility of customer receiving. Uh, 
a box that have a failed test. The RFID chip, which uh, function exactly does this one have? Yes, in fact, uh, inside the, the cabinet you have a, a unique RFID number that in fact tracing uh, the cabinet from uh, first process of the production to the end. And now we are reaching the end of the production because we will initiate, we will generate the, the serial number. So in fact, the software will attach the RFID number to the serial number. To record in fact all the different process and all the wood, which batch of wood have been used, uh, which condenser have been used for the... So we have a full traceability of, of the products by doing that. So if a customer first any problem outside, for example with a condenser, we know exactly which batch of condenser is involved and we can have a proactive action with the other customers that receive cabinet with the same condenser. Okay, so now we will test the first cabinet. The position of the box has to be very precise. Okay. Okay, I think we are ready for the test. Okay, so just with just one swipe, we are measuring polarity, phase, frequency response, and distortions. And now Willy is checking on the screen that the box is okay. Did it succeed? Yes. Okay, so the test succeeds. So now the cabinet, uh, we will generate the serial number of the cabinet. This serial number will be attached to the physical uh, RFID number of the box, okay? And then we will be capable to pack the box, print the, s the stickers and ship to customers. Danny, that was very interesting. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. And I will continue now to the R&D department. This was the first of three videos that were produced at the Nexo headquarters uh, in Plaigny, near Paris, in France. And in the second movie, which will be broadcast on Thursday at 4 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, I talked to Joseph Carcopino about the R&D process and we get a more detailed look about the different possibilities to use the P12 loudspeaker and the L15 subwoofer. I hope you enjoyed a little bit and I would like to show you up again on Thursday and I hope you will be there too. Have a nice day. Goodbye.